I'm Dave, we're at Jerome Rose Club, I'm back from the dead, and we're cutting Tim's hair today. No, we're not cutting Tim's hair, we're cutting Tim's f***ing beard, mate, aren't we? I'm Dave, we're at Jerome Rose Club, back from the dead, and we're cutting Tim's beard today. So, I'm just going to drop a little bit of sea salt spray in there to start with. Spiced citrus for the festive season. And I'm just going to pull out his beard using a round brush and a medium heat on the hairdryer. So we're at Gentleman Rose Birmingham today, not Ashley Road. It's been going well up here, we've been getting busier and hoping to cement our position during the Christmas months. So if you're around, coming for a trim, come and say hello. Right, pulled his beard out and we're looking at the shape of it now as it sits when he hasn't just got out of bed. So what are you looking for then, Tim? You're looking for kind of square shape, round shape? I'm growing it, um, I want to grow it on the bottom. So um, just take the lines in, tidy it, keep it uh, like narrow as well. You want to grow through, you're growing out, yeah, yeah. down, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. So we'll go for a nice soft taper there on the edges um, with a line up quite high on the cheek, trim the moustache, and just sharpen at the heel as well. But under here, we won't touch too much. We'll just tidy up on the yeah, neck there, yeah? Okay, sweet. Okay, so we've got number two on the clipper. And we're opening that to a half position. So it's two and a half. We're going in about just under the ear. And fading up. I'm going to drop that down to number two, so the guard's closed now. The lever's closed. And then we're going to work again. So we've gone two and a half, two, one and a half, one, and then we'll go the other way. We'll blend out, so then we'll go 0.5, one, one and a half. So, little time saver. Just do both sides while you're there with the same guard on the flipper. So I think out of us two, you have got the best beard, haven't you, really? For sure. He has, hasn't right. he? Yeah. Yeah, I'm clutching at straws, mate, thinking that I've, I can compete. Is, uh... Well, I will say, mate, yours has gone ginger. Yeah. Yeah. You've got number three guard, and we're going to go open with the lever. And we're going to come in from just at the bottom of the beard, the heel almost, start from here. And we're just going to feather that in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll do that on both sides. Again, while I've got the three on the guard. It's very tempting to take the guard off and fade one side and then do the next one, but it's actually easier and quicker to do it like this. Yeah, it's gone really red on the ends, mate. I don't understand why that is, because it used, used to be called Blackbeard, mate. And now... Yeah, yeah. It's uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Your ginger beard now, mate. Something to do with the Vikings, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, it's just something in your bloodline, isn't it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Mine's... Yours is redder than mine, I'd say now. Nah, I don't know, actually. You've got a ginger beard, mate. I haven't got a ginger beard, mate. I don't... Do you know what? I think red looks like a good, is a good colour in beard, anyway, to be honest. I do. I genuinely do. I think it's a good colour. Beard doesn't matter if it's red, if it's black. No, I think the colour does matter, mate. I think that, I do think the colour matters. Yeah. Jet black looks great, but and then jet and red looks Grey good. Grey looks f***ing amazing, yeah. Oh. I saw Mahesh chopped his beard off as well. well they weren't quite sure what they didn't they? Yeah, but he really needed it, to be honest. It's still got that. It, it, scared, it scared me a little bit, mate, I'll be honest. I don't know, I just not, I'm so used to him having that long beard. Like, to see him with his short beard is Make like... Make him look so young, like, much yeah. younger. Yeah, take care, fella, see you soon. If he, if he trims the side, the hair on the sides of his head, yeah. and short the beard, he looked much younger. I think he got because he's had one on, on um, YouTube for he was 60-something when he's just 40-something. Right, I'm just combing that through now to see how it's sitting with a blend. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just taking off some stray hairs 
through that dark, and we're going in the direction of the hair as well, we're not coming across or we're going to be going just straight down. You can see just a few hairs there. Do you want me to switch side? So if you just tilt your chin up to the sky for me as well, that's amazing. Okay, just going to work on the chin now. Uh, literally, I'm just taking just the odd hair here and there. It's not. I'm not going in with this too far. So he's got a curl. He's got a almost like a took that way. Yeah, like a nape whirl in the corner here. So I have to be. I have to work how. I have to realise what I'm going to do with that first before I go in there. So are you going to try and grow past that, aren't you? Uh. Yeah, I guess so. You're going to try and grow past it? Yeah. So if you grow past it, it should disguise itself enough for me just to blend it in okay. when it gets to that point. So that. let's grow through that at the moment, yeah? What's, what's the idea? I thought you said you were going to shave your beard off recently. No, mate. I'm going to, um, I'm going to grow my hair. My beard's really long. You, you want to go for full, full length then? Yeah, yeah. What, Sons of Anarchy style? Yeah. You know like that doll that I've got for college? Yeah. Like, oh, like that? Yeah, okay. That sounded weird, mate. You know that sex doll I got? Yeah, that one. So he's going to go for a rougher kind of look on the bottom. It's not going to be too neat. But we will neaten up from around the heel and from the temple to the bottom of his moustache. I've got him in a great position here. The lighting's good. And I'm going to work now this heel line here. I'm not going into it and pulling away, I'm pushing to the line and that allows me to make a solid line on that, on the beard instead of just pulling and dragging away and damaging what's there. I feel like I haven't done a beard brand video for a long time mate. Three months. How long it's been? I don't know, when did you open? Three and a half, three, nearly four months ago, mate. There you go. Yeah, it's been a while, isn't it? Yeah. So even though I'm not cutting his hair today, I'm still going to clear around his ear, just because it reflects on my work. What you say? You can't cut his hair, mate. Any of the hair? Oh, that wasn't my. Oh, it's part of the deal, mate. I said you can't even have. It's involuntary, mate. I didn't. I didn't say that. For six, for how That's long? Till June. So, so, it's, it's on camera. On camera so. It's on camera. And what was the deal? Sorry, Joe was going to pay your rent if you don't do that. Yeah. Well, you June. Do it now just because it's Joe. Yeah, he will, he will. He will stick in on that. You've actually done him a favour, Joe, because now he's got pure like motivation. Exactly, <laughs> mate. Yeah, you've done him a pure favour there. He's going to love it. Yeah. He's getting free rent. <laughs> oh, he looks gorgeous. Okay, so we've worked down from the temple uh, to the mouth, and we're now going to start cleaning up on the moustache. So I'm going to put a little fish tail in. I'm angling my detailer as to create a, a small triangle here, and that's just going to help with the growing out on the moustache. What's the plan with the moustache? Then? Do you want it disconnected or connected when you're growing it out? Connected. Connected, yeah. So just straight down, pure straight up biker style. So then let, grow that, as it grows out, pull it across. You, you need to get a wax as well, to be honest. Right. But I can sort you out, I can sort you out with that, mate. I know a guy, I know, I know a wax guy. Okay, so I'll do the other side. Right, so we're going to work from the temple again down to the moustache. We're just going to push in. And we're coming around 
And now we're working on that moustache again. Come to the other side of it, I don't know if you can see. There's a nice angle in there, we've cut that in. You're going to need to get this trimmed, Tim. Even when you're growing it out, you're going to have to get it tidied up every couple of weeks, I'd say. Come in, just have it tidied up, because otherwise it'll feel like it's gone really, it's gone wild. And you don't really want that feel, you know? If I'm not cutting my hair as well, I want like, my beard to look neat. Yeah, that's what I was going to say as well. So if you, if you are growing your hair out, it is, it's nice to keep your beard bang on, really. And that way you can wear a hat and you can still feel like you're groomed. Right, so we, we know we're keeping length on the bottom here. So that's going to grow out in its own shape. Tim, if you took your head up for me. So I am going to tidy up underneath his neck. So I've got my seniors. And I'm just going to take it just off. Just off the closed blade. And I'm going to use that. If you can go chin all the way up for me. That's it. And that means I can get under there. And I can just tidy the bottom of his neck. The reason I took it just off was that when I was using the clipper this way, I don't want it to cut his skin. So that just helps line the beard up underneath. So now we're going to close it fully, and we're going to come up. So, we've got some uh, shaving gel now. We're going to just line up his beard. So I'm going to drop a little bit of gel on there now. Right, so we've got some bay rum in this bowl. It's a layright bottle, but I've actually filled it full of bay rum because I like the dispenser on it. I'm just going to spray a little bit of bay rum onto this hot towel, and that will give it a nice scent when it goes around his nostrils. You're going to get him drunk, mate. He is going to get a little bit drunk. It's a very, very hot, hot it towel. It is Friday. It is Friday, mate. We're going to get the rum out in a minute. So now I'm opening that towel. I'm giving it a, sh a shake. The reason I put the gel on before is because I put the gel on after as well. And that just kind of gives me a little bit of a bed. This towel's too dry, mate. I remember one barber told me to go home and wash my hair once. Brother, this is not good. This one, too much. Okay, now, while I've got his head in the towel, I'm trying to bring the blood to the skin and I'm trying to open his pores. So I'm going to use a couple of methods, and that's tippy tappy, and then a rotary method. And I'm also trying to push that towel, trying to push the towel into every corner of his face, otherwise you get pockets of air. Voila! So this is our second pass with the gel. Tim's got really, really um, strong hair, it's almost like asbestos. So hot towel is really essential when I'm trimming his beard with a razor. And like I said, I pass twice with the gel. I like a little bit to absorb into his skin, just softens the hair. So I'm going to work around from the top of his temple. I'm using the heel of the blade. You're going to smash Palace 15 now. I'm coming around, creating a nice shape there. So you're looking to kind of make a half, half moon shape there. Okay, now we're going to work the heel. So I'm pulling his skin across and I'm going down with the hair. So I'm not going to cross, not cross it or against it. 
Well, you've got a guaranteed playoff place, I think, by getting to the finals. But we can, if we win it, we get automatic, so we don't have to go through. So, Tim, we've got choice of tea tree, utility balm. Spice citrus, I love tea, yeah. Spice citrus styling balm, yeah? That's the one I really like, yeah. The styling balm? Yeah. Okay. What present are you getting us for Christmas, man? Brother, I get you best one. Best uh, present, yeah? Give me a halal turkey. Yes. All right, so this one is great for holding your beard in shape, really. Personally, I prefer the utility balm because I like the mo I, it doesn't hold as well, obviously, but I like the moisturising properties of it. I like to get down to my skin. this video, Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.